It is the Flow Friday Sports Show, and it's time to talk about another day of massive grand finals, which went on last weekend. And joining me to do it is Jenna Allen from North Central Netball. Great to be with you again, Jenna. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thanks. Going well. Wedderburn are the champions in the A grade. We'll talk all about it in a short while. But firstly, I just want to go through the juniors with you. So uh, I believe we had an upset in and amongst these junior results and uh, a really, really big day. Lots of crowds coming in. So uh, tell us how the juniors got on in their grand finals. Yeah, so we had a great day. Um, We started off with the 14 and under A on uh, Saturday. Uh, Birchip undefeated. Um, and our little 14 and under a team from which group now report went in definitely as the underdog. Um, and they started the game with some terrific confidence that um, as a senior player, you're a bit envious of. Um, our young girls had taken a lot of confidence out of training the last few weeks with some senior girls, um, and they just seemed to really click on Saturday. They ended up four unanswered goals from from the get-go and um, they sort of really set the pace and tone and Birchip, they did come back and draw level in the second quarter and then it was sort of goal for a goal, goal, for, goal for a while but um, just wanted to give our witchy girls a real shout out because they played a terrific game as did the Birchip girls um, but very proud of our girls to get up with that sort of pressure at that age um, so witchy took their first 14 and under premiership win in 46 years I think which is pretty impressive and we're pretty thrilled about. So, which he won in the first game of the day. Um, then 17B, it was Donald who were too strong for Bort. Another great game of netball. Um, some really good contests across the court. Um, in the 17A, Donald again. So, Donald won the 217 grade um, quite well. Um, playing a really nice game for Donald in the 17B was Abby Griffiths and in the 17A, Addison Funk in goals has just been outstanding this year. She's only 14 and she's, she played two games on Saturday in 17A and, and the B grade and was terrific in both. So um, definitely a name to remember. She's going places, Addie. Um, yeah, and then we moved on to the C grade in the seniors. Um, C Lake, really close game. Looks like it was potentially going to go into overtime. Um, C Lake managed to get the win. Um, by a couple of goals in the end and were terrific. So Seagrade won their first ever North Central Premiership um, since joining the league, I think, eight years ago now. Um, but terrific to see them get up on Saturday. Donald played a great game. Um, but Sea Lake, yeah, well-deserved win. Um, and then in the B grade, it was Wedderburn. Wedderburn were really, really slick. Um, Laurel Prowse took best on court and was terrific. Um, and they beat Donald. So Donald had four in on Saturday. They took two premierships home, but fought really hard for the other two senior grades that they were in. So full credit to Donald for getting there, um, but Wedderburn too good in the B grade. There we have it. Super effort there, Jenna Allen. Talk about what happened in the A grade. So uh, a massive grand final, obviously, and uh, Wedderburn were the winners in the end, and... uh, they won very convincingly. So just tell us how this all went. Yeah, so the first quarter was terrific. Um, both sides fighting really strongly. Um, Charlton coming out of the blocks and uh, their defensive pressure from Abby Thompson and Kirsty McKenzie particularly was set them up really well. They had some really effective passages of play out of defence and straight down to their nice tall goal shooter and Chloe Walsh, who seemed, seemed to be on. Uh, they leveled. They were level at quarter time, um, and yeah, sort of looked like we were going to be looking down the barrel of another game that was similar to what they both put out in the second semi, which was really quite close for the whole game. Um, but in the second quarter, I don't know what Coach Meg Lowry said to her Wedderburn girls at quarter time, but whatever it was, definitely worked. Wedderburn. Uh, jumped a gear in the second quarter, put the foot down. Their momentum changed drastically. Um, they had great confidence to release the ball, uh, long passes, long effective play straight down the corridor. Um, they just seemed to cover all aspects of the court really, really well. Um, Matty Fossil for Wedderburn in defence was is always clean, always really well timed, and 
Saturday, she really put on a show. She was terrific um, on the angles. She really attacked the ball, and she just didn't let Charlton get an opportunity to put it up to Chloe, which was um, just meant they had to work twice as hard. So um, full credit to Wedderburn from the second quarter onwards. They never looked like they were faltering. So uh, they they won convincingly in the end, 50-34, to 34, um, and best on court went to Maddie Tossel. But it was a real... Really inspiring team win. They all very much contributed and all played really well. Um, congratulations to Meg, who's done a terrific job coaching such a um, such a terrific side and getting the most out of them. So you can have you can have talent across the court, but to combine as well as they have and utilise all of their strengths um, in a display like they put on Saturday was really impressive. So and well done to Charlton on getting there. Um, it, they also put up a strong fight, but. I think in the end, um, the Wedderburn defensive pressure, they just couldn't penetrate beyond that transverse line. So um, I think a lot, the really big crowd that we had on Saturday sat and watched the entire thing just because of um, the degree of talent across the court just was really nice to watch. So. Yeah. It is so often the case that we get really cagey finals, Jenna. Uh, so to be able to overrun an opposition that strongly and, and dominate is extremely impressive. Do you feel now as though uh, they might go on and, and really have a bit of a renaissance period because uh, it sounds like they're going to be very hard to get next year as well? Yeah, look, if they stick it out, if their team stay, stay similar, um, they're, they're just really tough to beat across the court. Like I said, you, you can have talent in spots, but you've really got to mesh your team together and you've got to find that relationship that, you know, means that in pressured situations, you don't hesitate. And I think a couple of weeks ago in their second semi final, they did seem to hesitate a few times, whereas on grand final day, they had full trust in each other. So the connection between even wing defence, Olivia Lockhart and her twin sister, Eliza, they, they were willing and able to sort of um, yeah, connect flawlessly down court. Um, their timing and just the way that they treasured possession was really well composed netball. So, and Charlton just seemed to sort of throw it away. A few unforced errors. They were trying. They were seeing the tall goal shooter in Chloe up the end, and they were really just trying to put away goals quickly to try and bridge the gap. Um, whereas Wedderburn on the flip side, they enjoyed the game. Um, they worked really hard to chase everything down. They weren't, you know, there was no late play or anything. As I said, it was Maddie Possel really set the tone in the way that she timed her leads and watched the ball really well, um, really, really concentrated the entire game, which is a big thing as well. So uh, a lot, it was very inspiring to watch. And look, Charlton had some terrific passages of play um, as well. The wing attack, Lauren Campbell, I hope she hangs around because she's, She's been a really nice player off the centre pass. Um, you know, there's, she's done some really great things in finals and she had a great game on Sunday as too did Kirsty McKenzie. So it was, um, yeah, it was really nice. They'll be, they'll be terrifically strong again next year. They've got great depth. Their, their B grade won really well on Saturday. and They've got players in that B grade who've won premierships in A grade as recently as 2019. So, um, they're going to be tough to beat again, but I guess that's, that's the standard we do want to set. We want to be up there and playing that sort of netball, so it is exciting. As the curtain comes down on the uh, respective grades across North Central netball for another year, Jenna, just uh, tell us what some of your personal highlights are from across the year. <laughs> well, it's been just having this season has been a highlight. Like grand final morning was really exciting. Um, I think it was just great. Everyone sort of feeling just to be back back on grand final day was um, yeah it was really nice I think we've got a really great community in North Central um, we yeah just really appreciate our volunteers that much more I mean as witchy hosting we had you know other volunteers from other clubs overwhelmingly um, offer their assistance as well so it wasn't really just a club effort we had other clubs and other people volunteering and you know, uh, donating food on the day um, for the canteen, helping us with barbecues. Um, we had Donald Footy Club lending us their electronic scoreboard um, so that we had two scoreboards on the day. We borrowed their stage. We had Charlton and Bort offer up their grandstand um, for, for use on the day. We had a number of other volunteers 
offer to help us with administration on the day from a netball point of view. So, and all clubs had someone from all clubs sort of tell us, um, you know, that they're more than happy to help in any way. So, I think there's been a lot of um, a lot of highlights across the year from a sporting aspect, but probably more overwhelming is just the you know the elite um, people that we have in our area and the way that they sort of just appreciate what community sport is all about and um, our, the crowds at our junior games is really encouraging as well. I think people have really got their heads screwed, screwed on right in, in rural areas like ours because they're just, just there to watch the juniors and enjoy sport for what it is. So, um, yeah, probably more so just about how great, how great our association is, as soppy as that sounds, I guess. Beautifully said and terrific work this year, Jenna Allen from North Central Netball. We really appreciate all your work and uh, the great coverage you've provided us here on The Flow. Thank you so much, Jenna, for everything and uh, congratulations on a successful season, seeing the finals back and uh, we look forward to being back in touch with you in 2023. No worries at all. Thanks for having me. It's been great.